Good evening, YouTube. Derek here, our ball crazy, come with a video. Uh, no World Series, no playoffs, no baseball tonight, so doing another video. I've been slow on videos lately because basically I've been watching baseball. I've, been, I've got some uh, video ideas for the future. I've got some cars coming in the mail, so forth, so it's not like lack of uh, content. It's just been the uh, lack of time and focus, I guess. Once the World Series is over, I'll be doing more videos. Not much for me to watch on TV now. With the with baseball bout over with, so I'll be doing more videos, uh, interact a little bit more too. I've been kind of slow on that. Been a, a bad YouTuber, shame shame. And uh, but uh, my next video is right now. Uh, my last video was about the 1907 through 1909 Detroit Tiger teams and my collection from those teams. Of course, those were the two, uh, the first three pennant winning teams on Detroit Tiger history. Yet they. Did not win the World Series in either of those three years. Today's video is about the 1935 Detroit Tigers, which was the first World Series championship team. Yep, the Tigers didn't win a World Series until 1935, which was their uh, fifth uh, pennant, fifth time in the World Series with the first championship. Yes, they actually, 1934, they went to the World Series lost to the Gas House Gang, St. Louis Cardinals, in seven games. Uh, so the 35, their fifth uh, appearance in the World Series in the first championship. So I got six cards I'm showcasing from that 35 Detroit Tiger team, one card of each, different six different players. And these are all playing days cards of them. And I have one, two, three, four of which are Hall of Famers. And two are, uh, I guess, were star pitchers of the teams. So I'll start out with the um, the player manager, 1934-35 Detroit Tigers. is my Mickey Cochran card, 1934-36 batter up. Mickey Cochran, this is my only batter up card from the 30s. You can tell from the perforation back there, you can supposed to punch it out and have it sort of stand up on its own like some forth, but this is a... I love this card, the image of Mickey Cochran, Black Mike, Hall of Fame catch of the Philadelphia A's and the Detroit Tigers. He's the one that's uh, um, helped bring the World Series to Detroit to win a championship. Mr. Mickey Cochran, one of the greatest catchers of all time. The 34-35 Detroit Tigers uh, was um, led by the G-Men. The star hitters on the team were the G-Men, first of which was Hall of Fame second baseman Charlie Gehringer, the mechanical man, second baseman. This is my 39 play ball. Next up is my all-time favorite, one of my all-time favorite Tigers, um, another part of G-Men, Hank Greenberg. 1940 play ball Hank Greenberg. It took me forever to find this uh, a good playing day Hank Greenberg. Definitely was on near the top of my list. He is the first Jewish superstar in baseball history. Proud Jewish man. Hall of Famer. We all know about Hank Greenberg. Here's 1940 play ball Hank Greenberg. And last of the G-Man, this is 1936 Go uh, Gaudi Wide Pens of Goose Goslin. He was a star with the Washington Senators, won a series there. And uh, Garinger, Greenberg, and Goslin, the Detroit Tigers uh, hitting. And Goslin's game uh, walk-off hit in Game 6 of the World Series. Walked, won the World Series in uh, six games of Chicago Cubs in 1935. This is... 36 Gaudi wide pen of Goose Goslin. It's my only plain days tiger card. I do have a, a Gaudi card of them, 33 with the uh, with the Senators. Next up is the two star pitchers. This is probably not my favorite looking card in my collection for sure, but this is his rookie card. Um, 1933 Gaudi Tommy Bridges. He was like all star, the ace pitcher back in the 30s and 40s. Uh, he was like a seven-time All-Star or so. 33 Gaudi is not the best of shape. 
but this is his true rookie card. And the fun fact between Tommy Bridges and Hank Greenberg, they're the only Tigers to uh, participate in four World Series teams. The Tigers in a span of 11 years, 34, 35, 1940, and 1945, they had four World Series teams. And um, 1940, they lost the Reds, and 45, once again, they beat the Chicago Cubs. Of those four World Series teams in a span of 11 years, Greenberg and Bridges were the only two guys who were on all four teams. So they're the only Tigers to, to compete in four World Series appearances. And where the state of is now, Miguel has a chance, but the Tigers got to get hurt, get good real quick because he's been on two. And he's the only one I think have been on both of them this decade. So, But Tigers, you get really good real quick, they get on two more. But I don't see that happen anytime soon. And the other star pitcher of, the, of it is my 39 play ball, Lindwood schoolboy row. He was an all-star a couple times himself. Didn't have quite the, the illustrious career as Bridges, but he uh, still had a nice career by himself. This is the 39 play ball of schoolboy row. Um, if you are a pre-war vintage collector, um, Beckett considers this a rookie card. you got to take rookie card notes kind of with a grain of salt because a lot of 39 play balls and 33 Gaudis, they say they're rookie cards, but there's cards of them prior to that because he's got 34, 36 Diamond Stars card of them. There's got Batter Up card of Roe, but I guess they'll consider rookie cards, but... There's Gaudi cards, like 33 Gaudi cards is considered rookie cards, but they have like American Carmel cards of players from the 20s and such. But use your own best judgment. So I don't consider this as really a rookie card, but uh, this is uh, my Plain Days Tiger card of Mr. Schoolboy Row. And this is my six cards from the first World Series Championship Detroit Tiger team in 1935. Whether it be Chicago Cubs, four games to two. After uh, losing the series a year prior to the Gas House Gang, St. Louis Cardinals of 1934. There you have it. Hope you watched, enjoy the video, and have a good night.